You know the drill. I need to do what, Absolutely. What do you he says that I can be a little bit louder. You can be a little bit louder. Okay, I'll crank up your gain right now, bud. Nice. Thanks for cranking up my gain, bud. There you go. 132%. Let's gain. I did not spawn near you, by the way. Yeah, I saw. I, I was actually watching your pod land like 20 miles away from me. Mm. All right, so you need to anyway. give me some details here because I haven't spoke to you in like a solid week because I have isolated myself from existence. How you been? Details? I, I don't got shit, dude. I don't do nothing. So you're telling me it's just been the Rodrigo Yisco Bell grading papers till 8 p.m. special? <laughs> Pretty much, man. I wish you didn't have to say it. <laughs> See, that was like part of the- I had this whole thing ready to go. I was gonna like make a joke about you grading papers, and then I was gonna make a joke about Gabe pushing a boat on a Sunday night, and it was gonna be a great intro. But no, <laughs> Gabe has to say, hey, I'll be there, and then I'm sitting here waiting. No answer, fucking isolated, dusted, ghosted, roasted, toasted. Hey, Jim Jam. Hey. Getting ghosted is rough. Oh, is it James? Yeah, that's, that's Oh, James, it's yeah. James Steele! I love Jay Steele. He has such a great name. Okay. Is it possible for me to, like, like, be adopted by him so that I can have his name and then I can pass on his name to my generations? I mean, I don't know what the state laws in Virginia are. Hey, hey excuse me here. I forgot to mute my bedoings. Oh, hey, it's Gabe. Oh, hey, Gabe! Wow! Yeah, what are you, what are you surprised, you know? Uh, hang on. This is, this is just a disaster. It's just a goddamn disaster. I'm also gonna crank you down a little bit. Is it really a disaster? It's, a, it's like a minor disaster. You know, you pressed pause, but there's no pause in multiplayer. I know. I'm just seeing Gabe. Gabe's playing Gungeon. That's why he wasn't answering me. He was playing uh, fucking Gungeon. He has entered the Gungeon. It's a good game, but... When I say 7.30, I expect 7.30. He signed the contract, he said he was ready, willing, and able, and here he is, not... Fire him! I'm, I can't fire him, he's the only other person on the show. Oh, man. What's the point of being the leader if you can't fire stuff? You're not the leader, though. I'm not the leader, you're the leader! You're the one who has... I'm sorry, I was really focused fire. on killing that little purple guy, what'd you say? I hate you. Yeah, I was just oh, folks, dude. He's like looking at me. He was coming at me. Uh, you know, you're, you're not the leader. I'm not the leader either, though. It's, it's the Risk of Rod show. So Out. who's the leader? No, there's no leader. There's no leader in Risk of Rod. That makes no sense. There's just gamers. Also, I'm getting my ass kicked here. You can tell it's been a minute. Uh, there's no skill in this game. There, that's a bold-faced lie, actually. <laughs> So the question is, when Gabe arrives, do we just do we just scrap this, hide it from the viewer's eyes forever, or do we run it through, wait an hour, and then have this Gabe silently sit in the background as penance? <laughs> uh, I think we should just go for the first uh, for the first teleporter, the what's it called? The one where we Whoa. destroy ourselves. I mean, if we can get there quick enough. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I so actually feel. Die. Like, I'm a fucking slug right now. I'm not moving fast at all. I'm actually doing no damage. Just getting fucking beaten up by all these guys. Yeah, you stop playing this game for like a week. And it just all falls apart. Hey, fuel take, cells, by the way. Take, take that. You, you don't want the fuel cell? No, what am I gonna use it for? If you get any equipment? You're gonna fuel my dick? No, there, there's nothing to do with it. You never understood the concept of risk of rain if it never rains? Oh, yeah, that's, that's the fucking Reddit post everywhere right now. I already explained to you guys that the reason it's called Risk of Rain is because we're the ones raining into the planet. That's deep. It's not deep! Pretty deep. I hate this. Alright, I need, like, to spend a little bit of the cash here, so like, give me a second. Ooh, my name's Tim. I have four items. That's not enough. You gave me two of them. Hey, what's up? What's going on, guys? Oh, How's hey! You know, hi. 7.30 is 7.30 after all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait, he's here before 7.30! He did it! God damn it, he's right. Well, we're in a run right now, so if you want to, like, make some lumpia or something, you can take a look. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's, that's extremely that's racist. That's, 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 not act, that's not That's what I do in my downtime. <laughs> I make lumpia on my it's downtime. It's actually not racist, because Gabe, racist. Uh, you know, if I was in a fighting game, and, you know, the player wasn't inputting any commands and I was just standing there idle, my character <laughs> would eventually just start making lumpia, as is tradition in the Filipino culture. Isn't that what that one character in Tekken does? There's a, there's a thing here, right here. Yeah, totally. Uh, Josie, Josie Rizal. I have no... 
legs, Rodrigo. I can't get up there quickly. Can you get yes. it? I can't get it. I wouldn't give it to you if I could get it. <sighs> Hippity hoppity over Josie, here now. Josie Rosal? Is that from? Did you say from Tekken? Yeah, that's the Filipino girl with the the. I don't know what she's. She fights with like an anime thing, and then she cries when she wins. Yeah, because all Filipinos are crybabies. Yeah, so you're calling me a racist? Look at the creators of Tekken, dude. I mean, <laughs> Look at the creators of Tekken. Jose Rizal was like a Filipino war hero, and now she's some anime weeb girl with uh, Kizuna headband thing. <laughs> you know, it's funny you say this because that's that's what we call the fake Grand Order effect. So is, there, is she really like a weeb thing, you know, if like you got like a chainsaw pink haired girl who rips her head off? Like, I think that's a little bit more weeb than, uh, you know, the Filipino that cries. Hey, uh, Rodrigo, you gave me both fuel cells, but you seem to have taken the item. Yeah, because the item is a fucking wisp. Thing. Yeah, but like I could I could do something with it. Disregard for I... good. <laughs> I'm sick of this shit! Yeah. Anyways, oh, I didn't know you knew that much about Tekken, Gabe, because I don't know shit about Tekken and I only, I only know that character because she's Filipino. <laughs> Thank you for the reminder, my Mastix. I forgot Risk of Rain 2. It still says Isaac. What Binding of Isaac mod is this? Oof. Good streamer, this guy by is the way. spicy. I'm a good streamer. Don't be mean. I'm a really nice guy when you get to know me, I promise. Are you? Wow. That I, was got, a I got two friends here to confirm it. Gabe, am I not a nice guy? Uh, you're you're decent. You're a pretty decent fellow. All right, all right. You started this. Who's the nicest guy? Rodrigo. Right. Am I a nice guy? Huh? Am I a nice guy? Please say yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. See. If I was filling out your citizenship report, I would <laughs> open up the drop-down menu and click "Pleasure to have in class." Yeah. Ooh. Too bad you wouldn't be filling it out because you said you're gonna fill it out at eight o'clock and you showed up at eight forty-five. He was not late. He wasn't late to the stream. He was extremely late to the stream. It's gonna be a pay cut in the contract, by the way. In fact, you owe me money now. Hour. Whatever. Early. Gabe said that I'm a pleasure to have in class, and that was the highest honor back in the day. Mm. Oh, I, remember, was, oh. I remember when I was in middle school, I would get pleasure to have in class for like all of my classes, <laughs> except for my um, <laughs> my geography teacher in seventh grade. She fucking hated my guts because I told her that geography was a stupid subject, <laughs> and then she gave me detention. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sounds like she's. And my, and my mom was like, "Why would you do something so stupid?" And I told her that I hated her guts, and that was it. I believe this is what the millennials will say, a hoes mad right now, right? Right? <laughs> yes. Is, this, is that the thing they say these days? Yeah, you're, you're aware of the current memes. You yeah, did it. I mean, I don't know why she was mad for you just telling the truth, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't learn jack shit in that class. Geography's the one where you learn, like, state locations, right? And, like, places in the yeah. world. And it's got yeah. some applicable skills. You know, fucking cartographer from the 1800s, I guess. <laughs> Dude, they were all the rage. Do you remember when they're fucking making the maps for like the water for the Atlas? Yeah. Right there, Sea Dragon, guaranteed. Oh, uh, Rodrigo, I'm getting my ass kicked. Can you help me? Sure. Also, the porter is back here. Oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm over here looking for it desperately. Oh, let's get the fuck out of here then. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of guys here. What did you do? In the button. Uh, it just took too long to find the exit. I'm gonna die. Are you playing Enter the Gungeon, Gabe? I just finished so I could be here on time, but I guess that doesn't matter. You were not on time. Uh, honestly, I don't think we're gonna make it much longer, but maybe you should, you should make Ooh. that. Yeah. I'm almost done frying, you know. <laughs> <laughs> like, getting ground up. Ground him up, ground him up. So, uh, Gabe, I've, I've actually been dying to know, how's it going with that intern that got in trouble? Okay, hang on, she didn't get in trouble, it's just that her... The her boss is an asshole, I get it, I get it. Her supervisor was just, you know, I'm wondering sad. why I was cool enough to let her go home early and, uh, she <laughs> wasn't, no. I see. I mean, you just, you just sound like a stick in the mud. Like, you see you got like two hours of work left, like, what are you gonna do? 
Uh, I just make jokes about it now. Like they were doing her performance review and then I was like, make sure you write in that she leaves work early on Fridays. <laughs> <laughs> Extremely rude. Uh, I don't know her personally, but I hear I hear stories and uh, the guy in charge of her says that she's having a pretty tough life because UNLV uh, graduate school is being really tough on her. And Wait, it why? looks like because she's a graduate student. And Oh, just graduate program. I, I thought there was tough. something more juicy here, but no, it's just oh, no, 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 on. They were being like super tough on her. Like, we learned that she doesn't eat a lot and she doesn't sleep a lot. Mm. Oh my god! So, I we worked with our bosses and we put her on four tens, which is not usually allowed, but we let her do it. Well, that's very nice of you guys. Yeah. By the way, side note, how how much does it reflect on me that you said that someone was in grad school and Tim was like, oh, must be having a time of her life. Uh, I Rodrigo did not over here just jacks off all the time. I did not say that. <laughs> I was not thinking that either. I know it's a very hard uh, thing to do. I, I mean, if I went to grad school, it's going to be for fucking management. Like, you know what that means? Jack Lee Squad's like, hey, play slugger, write a paper about why, you know, Maslow's hierarchy of needs is uh, one of the more effective uh, management chain pieces to properly pay your workers and give them a good balance it's like oh gee you mean like all the other papers out there let me just find a few sources from each of them divvy it apart <laughs> and then fucking say i made my own book like no this is this is my grad school that's my grad school you're sitting over here making freaking optical little lasers and gabe's in here trying to be the next nikola tesla i'm over here just trying to fucking <laughs> one up freaking maslow or whatever fucking thing i learned like, this is just the reality of it like my grad school would be a joke i get it your guys it's harder like Gabe's not even grad school so he doesn't get that right now but if he goes back i agree so, something interesting happened at work, I guess. Um, oh, Rodrigo. So... Uh, Pepper times. Right. Printer. Um, a big a big thing in the electrical engineering department at UNLV is getting into this... Uh, I don't want to say it, so I'm just going to give it a different name. <laughs> so, this, this government program, or this government office job that you can get and it's, pre it's pretty sought after uh-huh go the other way there's items for you i'm gonna train all my stuff for tougher times i wasn't actually allowed to apply for that position pretty much because it was like a military position i grabbed one tougher and times. same reason why rodrigo wouldn't be able to apply for that position mm -hmm. mm. anyway <clears throat> i have my co-worker the one in charge of that intern he also applied for that position and he didn't get in but we know we know a few people mm -hmm. like not really well but we know a few people that actually got that position and today uh something real interesting a graduate student that i'm not all too familiar with that actually got his uh master's degree and got into working for that government office that was such a highly sought after job actually started working at helix at a position oh, wow. lower than me oh so i'm I'm wondering, maybe that whole job wasn't all that's cracked up to be. Uh, that other guy, uh, the guy, the guy that I graduated with, is a lot closer to him than I ever was. I think we're ready so to he's thinking, he's thinking of uh, taking him out to lunch to kind of talk to him about it. But mm -hmm. you know, this whole thing of what's the point of going to graduate school if I ended up in the same position as this other guy, <laughs> or just. <gasps> Or five years ahead of him, mm -hmm. up the up the corporate ladder yeah. makes it makes you think. Well, I always wanted to get like advanced degrees, but eh. it doesn't really, it's not really applicable to my line of work. It would just be for personal reasons. Well, I, I think that's that's just a big thing that people forget to mention, right? Like if you're if you're gonna go into higher levels of education, it's for the sake of like the education itself really mm -hmm. not not to make money or anything like that because you tell me there's uh, no money just, in science i mean there is money in science don't mm -hmm. get me wrong okay. i mean my my fucking advisor makes like 200k a year yeah but, but like he's advising science he's not actually doing science <laughs> he, he does quite a lot of science it sounds like he said he's an advisor not a scientist well, he's my advisor. No, Albert Einstein, our you advisor. You could be an advisor and a scientist. No, I would yeah, not mutually exclusive. Advising the nuclear bomb here. Not going to touch it, though, because I'm a pacifist. But I'm just advising people how to do it, right? 
Anyway, go on. I'm sorry. I'm just being an asshole to you guys' uh, respective but, fields. Anyway, I mean, if you're going into the technical field, I think going into it as early as possible, within reason, of course. We don't want to be like that other coworker that Gabe has that. Oh, I learned. <laughs> I learned more about him, and I, the truth will surprise. It's <laughs> <laughs> a Buzzfeed right. Are we talking? Buzzfeed article. All right, it sounds like another Ron Jeremy article as well. <laughs> no. Uh, I'll, I'll tell that story. So you remember that kid that graduated at like 19 and now yeah. he works for Helix and he's like 19 years old uh -huh. yeah. as a junior estimator? I learned that uh, the dude's got his own house. The dude's got a fiance. He's not like, what the hell? You are you are literally speed running life right now. <laughs> so the next thing you're going to say is he has a daughter or something. N no, not, not that. But <laughs> I'm like, geez, dude, you ever... Think about having a childhood, maybe? <laughs> yeah, they risk a rain or something. Eat a cheeseburger. That's interesting. What what interests me most about those people really isn't yeah. isn't like their talent or like anything like that. Like what interests me most is like what do they think? Like what when they wake up in the morning, what what goes through their head? Like is it let's get some bread or <laughs> or man, I can't wait to get home today, you know? I'm I'm very impressed with uh, with how quickly he's managed to do all these things. But the most surprising thing is that um, I'm working on this pretty tough project right now, and uh, <gasps> I made I made a millennial joke where I'm like, you know, I want to die or something like that. Oh god! I don't really remember. I don't really remember the thing. Mm -hmm. And he's like, yo. Same. And I'm like, wait a second. He still got it. This kid, One of gen, us. this kid is a Gen Zer. This kid is like me. <laughs> so, yeah, we're bonding over uh, over uh, young people lingo, which is that's something I definitely can't do with my 40 and 50 year old coworker. You don't say. See, this is why I just make memes that are like referencing movies from their time period, like the freaking Willy Wonka ones. I can make a Willy Wonka meme, and everyone's like, oh, "You lose good day, sir." I know what that means. Yeah, that's from the wind. That's no that scene. I'm like, yeah, I know. Like, that's you like not that? from Spence's challenge. Yeah, that's 98.5 KL. You see? No, it's just not. Wow. <laughs> I don't even know what you just said, bud. Hey, where what? You go? There's a soldier syringe here, by the way. Printer. All right. Great listening. Especially, I, I love listening to 98.5 during, mm -hmm. um, what's it called? The Christmas charity thing. I keep forgetting what it's called, but I love listening to it. I see. I'm not lying though, Gabe. Like, if you, if you make, like, memes that are referencing, like, old movies or media from their time, you will get along just well. I learned that my boss really uh, no. likes the movie, no. <laughs> he like, really likes the movie Get Smart, which huh? is great because I love that movie, the one with Steve Carell. So I just I just do the why risk the carbs and the kills. <laughs> I love that line. <laughs> you ready to start this floor, by the way? You what? You want to start the floor? Yeah. Okay. I, I love Steve Carell. Yeah, I love Steve Carell too. Oh no! The run's over. No, I'm summoning all my boys. Let's go! Oh no! Oh wait, there's only one of these guys? Are we yeah. playing on easy? No, we're just taking our sweet ass time. He's taking no damage right now, excuse me. I'm, I think I might be dead. I think I might be dead! There's You're two dead. of them! You're fine. I'm gonna kill this one, I'll come get the other one. There you go, easy clap. Uh, there's, uh, there's another one. Uh, I made it. I'm coming. I got him, I'm, I'm blasting him. Blast them harder. I'm, I'm doing the best I can here. Your drones are dead! Uh, the, oh, yeah, gotta go, gotta go. Yep. Anyway, Gabe, tell me more work stories. By the way, you being late ruined the intro. I was going to plan this giant joke where you were going to talk about you pushing your boat last night, but, you know. Well, it, it was pretty funny because Milo was, like, playing auto chess while we were pushing the boat. <laughs> oh, my fucking God. I thought it was like a... Milo was like, I don't really want to play auto chess. And then, like, the other day, he was like, dude, this game is so fun. Why didn't you fucking tell me it was so addicting? And I'm like, Bro. <laughs> like, literally the second day I played this game, I told you to play it. <laughs> So, I guess I know who's not watching the auto chess videos either. <laughs> I, I like auto chess. I think I played it again like three weeks ago with Josh and Tim. Yeah, it was a good and, time. And <laughs> all I know is that I went Assassin DJ and got third place. Hey, Nothing's that's, changed. That's, that's the thing. But it's that's fine, Rodrigo, because it's your time to come back to the good old League of Legends launcher with Team Fight Tactics. Uh, 
Uh, I have never played League of Legends. Before. But it's gonna it's just gonna have its own auto chess. Oh really? Yeah, team fight yeah. tactics. <laughs> you didn't know that, Rodrigo? No, I didn't know that at all. Yeah, dude. It's launching on the PB tomorrow. What? Yeah. So just get your honor to rank up to three, and we can do this. Uh, uh, I'm probably just gonna play when it actually. Comes out. I'm I'm debating doing it tomorrow, but I got like a billion things I want to do. I know I'm so busy. I just want to play all these games, right? <laughs> yeah. Hey, thanks for the heal, bud. Yeah, no problem, dude. Oh, uh, look, a uh, shot of order. Yeah, you know what? That's the gamble. Oh, wait. Uh, it's not a gamble. You're just gonna get, you're just gonna <laughs> get, like, two more fuel, three more fuel cells. You're right, and uh, I cannot do it because I have no Lunas coins. <clears throat> oh, really? Yep. I didn't get to bring this up uh, <laughs> when we were out this past weekend, but I wanted to bring up a conversation of, of E3, but it might be. Might be too late for that. No, dude, never um, too late. I'm still talking about it on Display Aspire videos. Okay. All right, what's your what's your take on E3? Uh, so I'm a little disappointed because this year, just because of the way work's been going, I I got home like literally last last week was E3, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, literally every day I came home, I just didn't want to do fuck all, so I kind of just like crawled into a corner. I'm like, hmm, hmm. But from the stuff I did see, of course, you already know. Banjo Kazooie, I'm I'm excited for it. I'm not like sitting there going, this, this is the best thing ever. I wasn't one of those guys in New York with the fucking banjo shirt ripping off, like oh love banjo. You know, it's 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 cool. I'm excited for it. It makes me want to play Smash and buy a Switch. Still won't. Um, actual things that I'm excited for from E3 though, like Cyberpunk seems cool. Again, I, I don't want to I don't want to sound like a curmudgeon, but like not, a lot of these games don't really make me go, holy fuck, I need this. And maybe it's just again me being a curmudgeon. But no, I think it's just being old. Yeah, I mean, because like, I've, I've lost a lot of interest in games ever since I started getting older. I, Sorry, I, I zoned out. What are we being curmudgeons about? Uh, we're talking about E3 here. Um, I'm trying to think of like anything that like really excites me. There's a lot of things that excited me, but I, I just can't I just can't like remember any of it because I was just so detached from this E3. I mean, I saw a lot of the conferences. I'm like, this is cool. This is cool. And he asked me today, like my son, my work son asked me today. He's like, what would you think of this year's E3? I'm like, dude, I don't remember anything. <laughs> yeah, Fi Final Fantasy VII was a big one. Oh, Maurice yeah. was really excited for that. Yeah. I personally have never played Final Fantasy VII. Me neither. But Final I'm Fantasy probably going to play it when it's, it uh, comes out. It's going to be very different from the base game, and you know what? That's perfectly fine, too. Because, uh, you know, it might be the hot take or not a hot take. I don't know. The fight's like a 50-50 these days, but it's like Final Fantasy VII? Actually not that great. I'm talking about, like, the original game from, like, 15 Ooh, years ago. Donkey alert. Uh, oh, Did you guys hear about that? Just as a side note. <laughs> No. Like, people are upset at Dunkey because he said the same thing that you did to him. Like, it's a good game, but everyone's sitting there like, uh, like, like, I already made a point about this. Everyone's sitting there like gushing their fucking ball sacks over Tifa. They're like, I love Tifa, she's so hot, I love her. It's like, dude, look at Tifa in Final Fantasy VII and tell me what polygons got you aroused there. And then you see the new Tifa, you're like, it's just like I remember. It's like, what are you, ta what are you talking <laughs> I about? I can't believe they copied her exactly. It's like, she's all just on form. Like, the most, like, the fact, I saw post people like, her tits aren't big enough. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> anyway, that's They're like not triangular enough. That's that's like more of like the joke piece, but like the game itself, it's fun. But I'm not sitting there going like, dude, I love the part where I fought Sephiroth and it was going. Dun -dun 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 -dun. I'm just like, this is cool. It's like a boss fight from an RPG. Do you have any emotional attachment to any video game? Uh, near. Banjo okay. Just just near. Rodrigo knows this because he thinks I'm being a bully to him, but it was a bit. Yeah, he is being a bully. Anyway, I have a attachment to Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember that's uh, Crash Bandicoot was pretty big when I was young. I remember Rodrigo was really disappointed about the uh, speed run that happened a few years ago. Uh, let's not talk about that. Uh, wait, I want to give my two cents about uh. Oh yeah, go ahead. E three. Uh, my two cents about E three is, uh, Keanu Reeves got way too popular way too fast, and it tired me out really fast. I mean, he's gonna be in the Toy Story movie. Yeah, I know, but like. I don't know, like, it, it was, it was really take. nice. Uh, that's, a, that's what I wanted to start that off with, that's that's the hot take here. But, it's just like, you know, like the whole, uh, your, uh, your gorgeous, was it gorgeous? Breathtaking. Oh. Your breathtaking thing, like, that, that was cool and all, but like, I think everyone just memed it way too hard, way too fast. Do you want to know the funny thing? What? That guy got a free copy of Cyberpunk because of it. Is that yeah. so? Which is, yeah, which is cool. That, is, right? is, that I saw on Twitter cool? that... Of course it is. Look at how much press he got the game. Yeah, but like that's gonna set a precedent for like every E3 conference going no, forward, where everyone's no. gonna be like, "Oh, I love you," and they're gonna be like, someday, one day, like security's just gonna slide tackle someone for saying that. They're just gonna have a no tolls 
like tolerance <laughs> policy for it. No love allowed. No, you can't. You can't be so negative to look at it like, oh, now everyone's gonna fucking do it. Yeah, I mean, you're right. Like, look That's at what's gonna happen. That but happens. if you just if you just took Going. it from you know witnessing it as it was happening, you're like, oh, that was a pretty cool moment. You're right. We might run into that issue, but why why look at things so negatively? Because he's a curmudgeon. <laughs> Yeah, hang on. James brings up a good point in the chat here. He's he's saying wasn't like Keanu Reeves. I'm, I'm paraphrasing here, but wasn't he like regarded as a joke not too long ago? Yes, I, I don't that's, remember that's... that at all. I always thought that he was well liked <laughs> by a lot of people. So like, here's my knowledge of Keanu Reeves. I knew John Wick. If you would have told me he was in the Matrix, I would have never believed you. Yeah, he was in the Matrix. I know. I, he he and... was fucking Neo. It, it's, my mind's been blown a few times, by the way. And and that's what that's what makes it like that. That's what brings the me the meme full circle. Mm -hmm. It's that. It, it's exactly that. It's exactly what Nick is saying. Like everyone regarded him uh, like, oh, this guy James. can only do one thing, uh, and it's to be this like stoic character. Um, is John Wick a stoic character? I thought he was a very emotional, heartfelt, uh, you know. <laughs> I don't know actually. Actor. I mean, I've never seen any John Wicks. It's on the bucket list. Like... This is the first time I'm hearing about all of this. I always thought that Keanu Reeves was just generally well liked. I really? just I just don't yeah. know celebrities, so I didn't know who Keanu Reeves was until everyone was like, I love Keanu. He's he's in fucking cyberpunk. I'm like, that's cool. I mean, I think people really started liking him because of John Wick, which is fine. I mean, it's, I... it's a good movie, I hear. All three of them. But he he was pretty much in the shade for basically like 20 years now. I did watch him in this uh, Netflix original movie. It's uh, <laughs> uh, I'll Always Be My Maybe or something like that. It's like this Asian American rom com, and he's like one of the suitors in that mm -hmm. rom com. He was pretty good in that. I thought it was really funny. Okay, okay. But aside from that point that I had to say about Keanu Reeves, where's uh, the exit, by the way? No idea. It's probably in the second floor, which I haven't been to. Okay. I really enjoyed all of the reveals that they put out there in E3, mm -hmm. but for some reason I was really disappointed that like they announced. They announced Final Fantasy VII, right? And yeah. they're like, yep, in one year! Well, I wish I wish these reveals were a little bit more... I mean... they Didn't they show the whole remake thing back in 2016? Oh man, don't get me no, started. Uh, they started for, further back, Gabe. Further back. Further back yeah, than further, that? Yeah, further that back. This thing is like at least five years. Yeah. Way, like the announcement for the Final Fantasy remake goes back way, way back. Not 2016. It's deeper than that. It's the reason I first started oh. dating when that when that happened. No, <laughs> no, there there was no remake announcement when you were in high school. I promise you that. Tim, it's up there, but there's three big lizard boys, and I'm scared of them. So it's Gabe's dentist, Gabe's dentist, and Gabe's dentist. Oh. What? <laughs> that dentist doesn't work there anymore. Mm. I wonder what happened to him. Yeah, he's full gutter. Almost like the fucking medical board wised up and like, wait a minute. <laughs> Are you sure? It was definitely the lizard people. Alright, lizards are dead, by the way. You can come up here, bud. God bless you, sir. I'm coming. You can hit the thing. Uh, right, they're not dead! I'm quickly doing like I wanted you to like take your time. Anyway, she was replaced. And now my orthodontist, or not orthodontist, hygienist is this pretty young Asian lady. Cool. Definitely an upgrade. Don't get laser beamed. I, I'm being laser beamed like right now, but like I, I don't give two bucks. Wow. Uh, okay, okay I, gotta, I gotta get out of there. I fell. Oh, squeaky. I'll be right back up there, bud. You, you just keep, look pretty, alright? I fell off this. You know what? That's the right choice. A tactical retreat. I'm gonna make my way back up there. Actually, I could snipe one of them from here. Show me your elbow. There you go. Dude, that is loot. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, isn't it like something, <laughs> some, some fetish to say? <laughs> Probably. I don't know. So what'd you guys end up doing on Friday after uh, we left? Oh my god. Uh, we went to... Gold Spike. We got lit uh -huh. with the rest of them and then uh we took uh the friends home cool josh was uh went a little overboard i'm surprised <laughs> i'm uh 
little concerned that I might be enabling this behavior. See, I didn't want to bring this up to my boy Josh, but like he told us like the weekend before how he, would, he didn't want to do that exact thing. <laughs> like he went on a very decent spiel. I'm like, hey, that's cool. And then like I hear he's like, let's go out Friday. I'm like, all right, let's do it. I was worried you weren't having a good time. I was, I was having a good, listen, like, you know the kind of person I am and the company I have, like we're very yeah. just like, we, we are fine just doing our own thing sort of people. I was, uh, I was very glad that you came. Yeah, it was a, a decent time. I spent $21 on a big ice drink and it was tasty. I mean, it may sound like I'm being like a beast, a big like, hmm, right now. I'm like, no, it was, it was good. So check this out. I've got a story that almost trumps Josh's story about the see you later with the high five. Oh, so geez. I was getting, Josh was not feeling too well. So I went to the bar to get him a drink and of water. And when I came back, there was like this group of three girls just like hanging out by like the wall. And then this, this guy, probably about a little bit younger than me, like walks up to them and he's like, hey ladies, did you drop something? And then he's got like that, like if, his hand stretched out uh, below his waist, doing that like okay symbol. Oh. And then, and then the girls looked at him and one of them was like, how old are you? <laughs> <laughs> Dude was like like four years old, <laughs> and then I couldn't stay there any longer. Wait, <laughs> wait, you can't have four years old in Gold Spike. What a man! No, you can't. But just this whole behavior is childish. <laughs> it was a, uh, it was very cringy to watch. So hang on, one of the the viewers mentioned a Keanu Reeves movie that I've never heard of. It's called Hardball. And you didn't know I about the not. Matrix. So first off, I'm right there with you because. I didn't learn about the Matrix till I was like 12 and I had this one friend who was a horrible racist. He was like, I love the Matrix. Did um, you say horrible racist? Yeah, he's a little bit of like a white supremacist, but I don't really want to talk what about that. Him. What did that have to do with the Matrix? Well, I just had to make sure I, I made it clear that I was friends with someone that was just a horrible racist and then I disassociated from it. But anyway, um, didn't learn about the Matrix then. I've never heard of Hardball, if someone wants to give me some beats there. Not ben. too familiar with that movie either. Hey, Ivan, if you want to give me some beats on Hardball, I'm all eyes. Ears. I have to read the chat. I'll, I'll read it out for you. Okay, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like I'm doing oh, anything oh. anyway. <laughs> oh, oh, run, help, run, help, run, help. I, I can't help you. I, I literally can't help you. All right, I didn't need it. I didn't need it, my god. Hey, we finally did it. I feel like we've been chipping away at these guys for a, a solid was, like, it hour. It was really a matter of just like getting enough HP so I can come up there and one-shot them, because I can kill them. I just, I have no, no regen. Mm -hmm. Was this oh. like, Hardball was about Keanu owing money to some guys and okay. teaching some kids from a violent neighborhood to play baseball. Oh, that sounds awesome. So, why, is, was this like a present day sort of movie or in the future? For some reason, I've got like the sci-fi <gasps> in my head when I think of Hardball, but I might be confusing it for a different movie. Oh, uh, you died. <laughs> I I left because I don't know how he died. Can somebody please tell me? Uh, chat. Fucking Yoshi was... spewed me. Let's just go stand in the circle for like 2% and get out of there. I'm working on it. And grab the items, please. Wait a minute. Wait, can you afford a big chest? I think so. Dude, ATG missiles. I wish I got those. Oh, he knows. He's going for the prize. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Ooh, barely enough. Wait, Keanu, Keanu Reeves was in 47 Rodin? Was he? R Rodin. That's what I said. Yeah. <laughs> oh. See, th this is what I mean. Keanu Reeves just came out of nowhere. Like, literally, it was Matrix, John Wick, and then it's like, he's famous. I mean, he's already famous. Like, he's more famous now, and he's popular with millennials because he's in a video game. Because he's in a video game. I mean, it's, it's the truth. I'll just be honest. So if we're going to spin it back to games for a bit, though, like, if Keanu Reeves wasn't in Cyberpunk, I still think it's cool. Everyone's just sort of, like, you know, busting everywhere, like, dude.